still we're up at four on the road by five. Uh, riding to Sisters, Oregon today. Uh, weather this morning was 60 degrees. We were, uh, for the most part, we almost had like two full rest days because we got to the hotel so early the other morning. And uh, they allowed us to check in real early. So that was really nice. Uh, mentally, I feel much better than I had. I really feel like uh, my tire problems are solved now. John's got his brakes going. There's John back there. Wave hi, John. Hello. <laughs> and uh, we're both really excited. Uh, so uh, yeah, just sit back and enjoy the rest of the day. What you see off there to the left is an irrigation system, a way to move water around to different parts where they need water when it gets dry. Interesting. Looks like it's kind of old but new all at the same time. Landscape just changed this all morning long. So yeah, the only thing to look here is just the changes. And what do you see to the left? An absolutely beautiful view of three large mountains. Uh, we're getting ready to go up over uh, McKenzie Pass, uh, which should be our last major climb of the bike tour. It doesn't quite seem right that it's almost over. John and I talked about going over this pass, realizing it's probably the last one. is we'll get a better picture for you later but this is a lava field an ancient lava field the sea of lava if you look straight ahead all the way up in the distance it's called Belknap crater it's where it erupted and it flowed all the way down from the crater all the way down to where we're standing so what you see is in front of us is nothing more than one giant lava field. Just a different view on the lava field. Reaching the summit of McKinsey Pass, elevation 5,325 feet.
Some of these trees are absolutely huge. I'm talking like six foot diameters here. The campground had a uh, clubhouse with a small lounge in it. You can kind of see they had television and stuff like that. Instead of setting up our tents, we just thought we would crash in here on the big sofa. So, uh, no one's been in here all night. It's about 8 o'clock, 8.30. We'll be gone before daylight, so we thought it would be okay. No one would even know maybe that we were even here. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're doing for accommodations tonight. And uh, that's the end of the video. We'll see you on the next one.